Domestiques often go unnoticed and blend in behind the scenes, but Julian Vermotte is an obvious exception. The Dimension Data Rider became renowned as one of the peloton's hardest workers during his seven seasons with quick-step floors, helping the likes of Tom Bonin, Mark Cavendish and Marcel Kittel to multiple victories. I did already a few years at Bergen. I think it's uh, maybe last year. Uh, it really started to be appreciated by the, the worldwide public, I would say it like this, because the people in the race didn't know what I do and they knew it already for, for a few years, but the attention only came after a few years also, you know, uh, I worked hard for it and also in other races where that no, almost nobody saw it, so um, at the end it's a bit, uh, yeah, after a few years it's, uh, it's just nice. Yeah. Yeah, you start to cycle to win races, you know, and uh, at a certain moment you just have to ride also for the team and yeah. It's not uh, there's not so, so much glory about riding four hours or five hours in the <laughs> with your head in the wind and yeah you know it can happen also that your leader doesn't doesn't win and yeah that's life and but okay you have to believe in that and I think you put also a certain atmosphere in the team if you if you don't complain too much about it and just do it and they respect it and for the leader it's also kind of pressure because like I mean good pressure because he knows like. You're riding full gas for him, and you're, you give your, yourself, you know, everything, 100%, or even more. These are the things you make difference. I had ones with the calf also was a nice one. Um, the sound of victory and zero. It was raining all day, and well, we came on the circuit, and it was only I think 10k or 7k to go, and they still had a lot of uh, lot of advance, and I had to pull, but I was so tired, and I couldn't. I couldn't get in in second position again because I was so tired, so I, I picked in in third or something. Matteo was in front and, and then I had to, <laughs> they had to pull me again to, to get back in second position. I was then pulling again and again and a few times and uh, Kathy even mentioned it, mentioned it in, in, in his book and my knees were swinging. <laughs> I was so tired but at the end I swung off 1k to go or 2k to go, I don't know. And uh, I got hit even by a car <coughs> when I was uh, dropped on the peloton. So it took a while till I, till I get to the finish line and when I get there, Kev was still waiting there, maybe two minutes already after his uh, victory and it was uh, really bad weather and then he was waiting for me and he said uh, what you did today was, was world class so um, yeah, these are the moments that you remember, you will remember forever. Having rejoined former teammate Cavendish at Dimension Data in the winter of 2017, Vermont has no qualms about riding in support of the British sprinter once again. But he's also looking forward to the chance of chasing some of his own goals. I actually was looking for a new role a bit and yeah, okay, I like to, to pull for the leaders, but not like from Dubai to or till, you know. If you have to do it in Tour de France, it's normal and yeah. There is okay, but last year I started my season also in Dubai. I was pulling already three days or something, and with that you lose a lot of energy. And yeah, at the end you just get a diesel. And <laughs> the, I wanted something new. I want to race again, like also the classics. And I was looking for a new challenge. And then Dimension Data came up, and uh, yeah, they were really interested. And for me, it was a good team because in the, in the classics have. Well, it's more freedom for you have Edvald and some other riders, but the difference if you compare it to Quickstep where you had five, six leaders maybe and it was really hard to, to make it to the, the selection. So um, yeah, at that point it was a, it's a bit, big, a bit uh, different here and for me it was a good opportunity because they also believe I, I can make some results in the classics and then of course I find, find Kev back for the Tour de France. And, of course, I still want to work for him also, and it's nice. He needs some goals in, in those stages also, and for me, it's perfect. And yeah, after they contact me, I, I was hesitating to, to ask Kat his opinion, you know, because I wanted to make my own decision also. But then I had to make a decision, so I decided to text him, and uh, he, they texted me straight away back. I called you tonight, and then I called him, and he was, uh, he was already, you know. Yeah, I was already straight away, like, you know, the click was again there and then the decision was, uh, was made quite fast. I find a lot of 
the guys back here that uh, were with me and Quickstep and also like Rolf and uh, also in the staff. So yeah, it's not like a completely new team for me. So of course, a lot of new guys. But I feel also a bit, uh, nah, a bit confident and uh, have some guys around that I, I know from the past. So this, this changed also always a bit, you know. But no, it feels good.